It's Jessica Walker with News BTC here with your cryptocurrency calendar for Sunday the 1st and Monday the 2nd of April. Sunday is actually a busier day than Monday the 2nd, so starting off with some of the biggest events for the 1st of April. First on the calendar, Tron will be listed on Lesfex Exchange. March was a good month for Tron, as there were certain days it was held in the spot as the leading cryptocurrency among the top coins. As March saw the completion of their main net, many traders were left wondering if Tron will be launched on Coinbase platform anytime soon. Although this has not yet been confirmed, they will be launching on Lesfex on Sunday. Lesfex is a cryptocurrency exchange designed to provide simple but innovative trading features. Lesfex is the first exchange for investors thought by investors, but although the size of Lesfex exchange isn't broadcast on their website, however they do boast about the growing active trading community. Tron's price may or may not be impacted. April the 1st also sees Stellar's testnet launch. According to Stellar's roadmap, Stellar is already the most deployment-ready cryptocurrency on major platforms. As Stellar has mentioned previously, they are pushing Lightning payments that can be confirmed instantly, has negligible fees and doesn't have to become public. Lightning is designed to allow users to make off-chain payments through routers and hubs. Stellar supports a more flexible generalization of payment channels called state channels, meaning that you can execute any operation on the Stellar network. Stellar's first release for Lightning is April the 1st, which is the testnet of their new operation Bump Sequence. Stellar has provided a description of Bump Sequence, which I've provided in the link below. For a general overview of the article, the Bump Sequence combats the problem of a transaction being processed in two phases, and they aim to combat this by only processing fees first. Stellar XLM is currently priced at 0.196 US dollars. Genesis Vision is the platform for the private trust management market, built on blockchain technology and smart contracts. Genesis Vision took to Twitter informing their followers their platform will be released on April the 1st. They provided a link to an article showing clarity on the alpha release. A few key points to note are Genesis Vision came to the decision to start out with a platform in a demo state to ensure the best possible product in the long term. Anyone can join the alpha without any financial repercussions since all of the funds will be of virtual value. Genesis really is encouraging all traders who are interested in the product to try it. This demo run means investors will be protected from risks and the demo market will be carried out to imagine testing metrics. The Genesis Vision Alpha brings Forex, Metals, CFD on energy and indices, crypto, crypto CFDs and indices. Genesis also showed images of the dashboard and the wallet section pre-launch. Finally, they ended the release by stating Genesis planned to integrate more crypto exchanges, stock exchanges and even banks when they inevitably take off. And moving on to Monday the 2nd of April, NIA will be taking part in the first national blockchain workshop in Ankara, Turkey, along with Cardano's Dr. Peter Gazi, research fellow, and NIA's senior research and development manager Malcolm Larry Dare will be a guest speaker. This blockchain workshop collaborates with public and private institutions to distribute structured trust centers to offer design and development solutions. Efforts are being made to establish networks to simplify and secure all kinds of electronic transactions from financial transactions, supply chains to internet risk management and health services. The aim of Turkey's first blockchain workshop is to bring together the most powerful specialists in the field to improve the skills of the firm and to understand the use of blockchain technology. Along with this, it's to investigate technical solutions such as security and privacy analysis with traceability. With Turkey's stance on cryptocurrencies being slightly different to other countries and government officials are looking to propose a state-backed cryptocurrency, this conference may hold some interesting developments, especially for Neo and Cardano. So what do you think of Tron in the future? Could Stellar's Lightning Testnet launch drive prices up? Will you try the Genesis Vision demo run and could anything interesting come out of Neo and Cardano attending the blockchain workshop in Turkey? That's all from me but click back for our video on Monday. In the meantime, have a great trading day and a fantastic weekend. Goodbye.